Good morning, folks. Let's get right to it. We're starting with the solar wind today because that was definitely a corona hole stream we saw striking yesterday. Dense shockwave out ahead of speedier particles, and the plasma temperature of the solar wind soared up from 1,000 to almost 100,000 Kelvin. The sensitive electron flux has been quivering on the floor since impact. A strong magnetic disruption has triggered a geomagnetic storm at Earth, peaking at level 2. The magnetic pulsations are well beyond normal. Next we come to a beautiful splendor. The two biggest filaments visible on the northern earth-facing disk both destabilized yesterday. One released and one twisted and collapsed. It was the solar tornadoes that ripped away. Oh, charged particle twisters, we barely knew ye. They lifted and released in a tight coiling CME that is heading due north away from our planet. The Earth-facing filament did not release in a CME, but it was easily the prettier event. Watch the plasma shift towards the North Pole, and then pull an awesome twist before collapsing and offering the remaining plasma a pathway back down into the star. Let's come now to the flaring and see that it has been on the floor. The Earth-facing solar quiet strikes again as active spots go quiet when they face Earth, the trailing spots are the only ones with any real potential. They aren't mixing right now, but any movement or morphing might change that. My bet would be on the south if it happens at all. As we look in 211 angstroms, we see the thin dark southern plasma filament coming in down there below and between the other dark patches, the bigger ones. Those are large coronal holes and they are easily visible. The one incoming here actually appears to have lost a good deal of force over the last 24 hours. Red turns to bluish green. More moderate rumbles in unusual locations only as the U.S. took two four-pointers and a couple more in five range up at the Aleutian Islands. Top articles today come from NASA, New Horizons to be specific. Looks like Pluto is red like Mars. This screams oxidized iron and since we know the dwarf planet is mostly water, that might mean Pluto is a frozen sphere of organic potential. Checking in on our tropical systems, still got three in a row right there, each heading west and north towards Japan. But I wouldn't sleep on these systems here either. One of them may send a storm at Hawaii in the next couple days. The only major alert tonight will be in the United States. It's not in that same southeast location, but rather in the upper Midwest. Could get pretty severe tonight. I'll keep that overlay on for our other top viewer locations and then roll into current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.